Magnetism by Marcia K. Miller. What are magnetic fields? Magnetism. Magnets are objects that attract iron, steel, and some other metals. All magnets have magnetism. Magnetism is a force that acts on moving electric charge. It also acts on magnetic materials that are near a magnet. How do magnets make a train seem to flow above the track? Electric current flows through the tracks. It produces enough magnetic force to lift the train. Pushing and pulling forces also move the train down the track. Magnetic field. A magnet is surrounded by a magnetic field. It is the space around a magnet in which magnetic forces operate. A magnetic field reaches in all directions from a magnet. Its shape is related to the shape of the magnet. Iron filings can show a magnetic field shape. The filings will align with a magnetic field's lines of force. The lines of force curve out from a magnet's ends. Magnetic poles. The two ends of a magnet are its magnetic poles. Every magnet has a north pole and a south pole. One pole points north, the other pole points south. A magnetic field is strongest at the magnetic poles. Its field gets weaker as you move away from the poles. Fields, forces, and filings. Look at the magnetic field of the bar magnet in the picture shown below. There are filings surrounding the magnet. Most of the filings are at the magnet's poles. The pattern of filings around each kind of magnet is a bit different, but each pattern curves from one pole toward the other pole. How magnetic poles behave. The poles of a magnet act in the same ways that electric charges do. Like poles and like charges push each other apart. They repel. Unlike poles and unlike charges pull each other together. They attract. Place two magnets near each other. Try to put the two north poles together. You will feel their magnetic fields pushing apart. Now try to put a north pole near a south pole. The opposite poles attract each other. You can experience repelling and attracting with two magnetic sheets. These sheets are used to make magnets that look like cards. Each sheet is made up of narrow magnetic strips. If you slide one sheet over to the other, you can feel them push apart and stick together. The like poles repel, the unlike poles attract. Broken magnets. What happens when you break a magnet in two? You get two magnets. Each new magnet will have both a north and a south pole. North and south magnetic poles are always paired. What are magnetic effects? Compasses and the world's biggest magnet. A compass needle always moves to point north. Christopher Columbus used a compass when he crossed the Atlantic more than 500 years ago. About 400 years ago, English scientist William Gilbert developed the idea that Earth is a giant, gigantic magnet with a magnetic field all around it. Why does Earth act like a magnet? Scientists think that Earth's outer core is made of iron. The iron is a very hot liquid. As the earth spins, electric currents flow in the liquid iron. The flowing current creates a magnetic field. Earth's inner core is probably solid iron that is also very hot. It stays solid due to very high pressure. Magnetic min minerals. Some rocks and minerals are natural magnets. Magnetite, or lodestone, is highly magnetic. Pieces of magnetite will point north and south. In the past, sailors used lodestones as compasses. Earth's magnetic poles. The Earth's magnetic field is strongest at its poles, but Earth's magnetic poles and its geographic poles are not the same. Earth's geographic poles are found on its axis. The axis is the invisible line around which our planet rotates. The Earth's magnetic north pole is in Canada. 
It is about 1,000 kilometers, 600 miles, from the geographic North Pole. Its magnetic South Pole is in the ocean near Antarctica. Compasses. A compass is a tool people use to find direction. A compass needle is a tiny magnet. It can turn freely inside the compass. One end of a compass needle always points to the Earth's magnetic north pole. But why? Earth's magnetic field attracts the needle. The lines of the field run north and south between the poles. A compass needle lines up with the magnetic field. Suppose you head east with the compass. You keep the end on the compass under the end of the needle that points north. Suddenly, the needle swings away. Why? A magnetic rock. You backtrack. Soon you find a large rock that causes the compass needle to move. You found magnetite. The magnetite's magnetic field was stronger than the Earth's. So, the compass needle swung around. Earth's magnetic field. Any magnet can detect Earth's magnetic field. Just hang the magnet so it can swing freely. The magnet will soon line up with Earth's magnetic lines of force. It ends, its ends will point north and south. But how do you know which pole points north and which points south? <coughs> Compare your hanging magnet with a compass. Keep the compass far enough away from the magnet so it does not pull the compass needle. The north end of the magnet points the same way as the north end of the compass. Label that end of the magnet N. Now you can use it as a compass. How to make a compass. A compass can be made with a needle, a magnet, a bowl of water, and a sponge. First, rub the needle on the magnet. Rub it quickly and always in the same direction. Rubbing the needle on the magnet gives it a magnetic field. Then, put the needle on the sponge. Place the needle parallel to the water surface. Let the sponge float in a bowl of water. This lets the needle turn freely. Magnetized needles line up with Earth's magnetic field. They point north and south. A real compass will show the direction of magnetic north. Magnetic north is the north end of the needle in a floating compass. Finding your way. How does a floating compass show directions? Label north, south, east, and west on the edges of the bowl. Turn the bowl so that the north end of the needle or magnet points to the north mark on the bowl. It is hard to use this kind of compass on a hike. But it works just like a real compass does. How are electric currents and magnetic fields related? In 1820, the Danish scientist Hans Christian Oersted was running electric current through a wire. A nearby compass's needle moved each time he turned on the current. Oersted wondered why. He realized that the flow of electric current made a magnetic field. These pictures show how an electric current affects compasses. When the current flows, the compass needles lines up along the lines of a magnetic field. Moving magnets produce electricity. In 1831, British scientist Michael Faraday found that you can make an electrical current by moving a magnet inside a wire coil. He had invented the dynamo. It uses a moving magnet to make electricity. The meter shown here measures electric current. A magnet sitting in the coil of wire does not seem to do much. The meter reading is zero. No current is flowing. <clears throat> what if the magnet is moved back and forth? The meter's needle swings away from zero. The moving magnet makes electricity that flows through the meter. Electric charges in motion cause magnetism. They also cause electric current. So, you can conclude that magnetism and electricity are related. Electromagnetism. An electromagnet is a coil of wire with many loops. Electric current passes through the loops. The moving current creates a magnetic field. 
You can change the strength of an electromagnet. You can make its magnetic field stronger. One way is to put an iron or steel bar inside the coil of wire. You can also add more coils of wire. You can wrap the coils more tightly to make them closer together. You can connect more batteries or use a more powerful battery. The pictures on these pages show two electromagnets of different strengths. Applications of electromagnets. If you have used a computer recently, then you have used an electromagnet. If you looked inside a computer, you would not see an iron bar with wire wrapped around it. But the computer's hard drive uses electromagnets just the same. A bar with a coil of wire is the simplest type of electromagnet. Electromagnets can come in different sizes and shapes. They may be made of high-tech materials, but they can only make a magnetic field when electric current passes through them. How are electromagnets used? Electromagnets in sound devices. Electromagnets are found in electronic devices that make sound. Electromagnets in speakers form a magnetic field. The field changes as the amount of current changes. The changes cause motion or vibrations. Vibrations make the sound waves you hear. Earphones. You can also hear sound in earphones. With earphones, electric current comes through the wires. A metal disc and an electromagnet are inside each earphone. Changes in the current make the magnetism weaker or stronger. These changes make each metal disc vibrate. The vibrations are the sounds that you can hear. The speaker works in a similar way. <coughs> electric energy changing to motion. A motor changes electrical energy into mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy that makes things move. Computers, CD and DVD players, and some toy cars have motor. Simple electric motor. Look at the simple motor on page 21. It has a battery, a magnet, and a coil with seven loops. There are also parts that connect or hold the other parts together. The rotor is the coil of wire at the center. It spins. The battery's electric current makes a magnetic field in the rotor. The permanent magnet's poles attract and repel the poles of the rotor's magnetic field. This is what makes the rotor itself spin. Going around in circles. The rotor is stopped from changing directions after it turns halfway. Why? Because one of the wires connected to one side of the rotor has had its insulation removed. But the wire connected to the other side of the rotor still has one side of its insulation. The insulation stops the flow of charges in the spinning wire, spinning coil. But before the coil stops spinning, the bare wire closes the circuit. This allows charges to flow again. So how does the motion of the motor turn into the spin of a fan or blender? Find the axle in the picture. The axle gets turned when the rotor spins. In some objects, the axle connects to something that can spin. These might be the blades of a fan or a blender. Can you picture where the blades might attach? How generators make electricity. A generator is a machine that turns coils of wire around very strong magnets. It changes motion into electrical energy. Huge generators make the electric power for most homes, buildings, and factories. They change the motion of moving water flowing through a dam into electrical energy, or they change the wind that blows past blades into electrical energy. These forces of motion turn the coiled wire fields around each other. A wind farm is made up of rows and rows of wind turbines. A turbine is a machine that turns by the power of wind or water. A wind turbine has long blades. The turbine's axle connects to an electric generator. California has over 13,000 wind turbines. The power they make can light San Francisco. <laughs>